The Automatic Updates initiative is focused on bringing robust, secure, and easy-to-manage updates to Drupal. This first phase of work supports Drupal 7 and 8 users who installed their sites by downloading an archive from Drupal.org. Phase 1 includes displaying Drupal PSAs directly in the admin panel, running automated readiness checks, and performing in-place updates. This phase does not support database updates, contrib projects, or composer-based site installs. Those features are on the roadmap for Phase 2. We want to thank all of the organizations and individuals who have contributed to Phase 1 of this initiative. Let's look at a demo. Here you can see a Drupal 8 site on version 8.7.4, so it's definitely out of date. Let's see what the Automatic Updates module can provide. If we go into the Automatic Updates configuration, you can see the PSA feature, which pulls public safety announcements from Drupal.org and displays them directly in the admin interface. These PSAs can also be automatically emailed to the site administrator, as configured in the Update Manager. Next, we can run a readiness check to see if our site can be automatically updated safely. If the checks are unsuccessful, we might see a number of warnings and errors. These issues are most commonly caused by file permission problems or by patching core or contrib modules and must be resolved before you can use automatic updates. If the readiness checks are successful, we see a green message and can proceed with the update. Finally, we can see an experimental option to trigger the in-place update. Let's see what happens. In the background, the Automatic Updates module is giving an update package from Drupal.org, which contains all the file changes for this update, and it's overlaying them on the site. As we see here, that update was successful, and the site is now updated to version 8.7.8. .8. Once the Automatic Updates module is stable, this initial work can help protect a large number of small to mid-sized Drupal sites, especially those on Drupal 7. But what's on the way in Phase 2? Phase 2 will add a system to create A-B versions of a site, enabling us to build in robust support for Composer, handle database updates, and to extend support to contributed projects. Phase 2 needs your help, so if you're interested in sponsoring this work, please reach out to us at the Drupal Association.